All hail our dear leader, Jim Pickens. So Jim is going to be in our Let's Play as well. He's actually going to be our neighbor in this series. And I have imported him from the gallery. So thanks to Eerie Echo Zero. If you would like to get your own copy of Jim Pickens, the original, someone has uploaded him to the gallery as well. And this is not canon of course, because this is not Call Me Kevin's channel. So Jim Pickens' spouse is Wiz Pickens, and I chose him because that was the only sim that from my subscribers that actually had a, a little bit of a personality match. He's childish, he's a party animal, and he's hot-headed, and he wants to have a huge mansion. So he wants to be rich. And his name just sounded really funny with Pickens. So this is Wiz Pickens. And then their daughter is Jamie. So Jamie is a form of Jim. I didn't want to reuse any of Jim's children's names because Jim's children um, didn't really fare very well in that series. So we're going with a completely different timeline here. And I have put them in a house. And this is Tomarang, so this is actually a residential rental. So I had to modify this a little bit to be able to fit the infant crib in here. And then we have the bathroom with a bathtub instead of just a, the shower. And we have everything else that we will need for an infant and two sims that are the parents. So back with Carla, the Super Sim, and Pandora, her next heir. So Pandora is going to be the new Super Sim. She's currently working on her child life stage. So in the Super Sim series, this is the series where we try to get all of the skills, aspirations, milestones, careers, college degrees, and everything that you can do with a single Sim. So for right now, we are living in Tomarang, and I downloaded this lot off of the gallery. So this is the Tiny Home Water Garden by Ruka Wagf. And I did modify it a little bit because this is the original build right here. It did not have a pathway out to the back. Do you know how annoying that would be to have to come out the front door and go all the way around the lot in order to get to the backyard. Yeah, I didn't want that, so I had to modify it. So we have the laundry over here and this little false room, as well as a bathtub, because sometimes you need to take a bath in order to get playful. So I did include a bathtub in here. And then we have the kids play tent an art table, a chess table, and a little seating area over here. And then of course the pathway out the back with the stairs. And then Pandora's bedroom is just over here. We have a few activities and skills and a toy box. And then we have the middle area with the kitchen and dining and the bathroom in the front. And then this is going to be Annalise and Carla's room. They're going to share the Murphy bed. Now, this lot is actually so gorgeous and it's actually a tiny home after we set it to a tiny home because this happens to me every single time. I downloaded this lot off of the gallery and I selected to change it from residential to tiny home. And it did change it from residential to tiny home, but I saved and quit and came back and it was not a tiny home. I don't know why it does that, but it just does. Okay, we're actually a tiny home now and it's a 64 tile tiny home so it's not the absolute best but it is the one that allows for skill gain it is not the one that allows for fast relationship building however which is kind of annoying since pandora does need to make a lot of friends for one of her aspirations but I guess we'll try and do it without that because I just like having a nice place to live in. And the false rooms are okay, but they really don't work very well for filming because as you can see, when I put the walls up or even halfway up, they're kind of not working too well. So you have to put the walls all the way down, which is not 
very nice. It doesn't look very nice because you don't have any walls at all. And I prefer to at least have the back walls. And sometimes I put do put them down just because I get annoyed with things being in the way. But I like to have the option of putting the walls in the back at least. And the way this house is set up, I'm surprised they were able to get it to be 64 tiles because there's a lot of wasted space for the hallways. And you get at least two tiles for each hallway and there's three hallways. So that's six tiles that you wasted on just connecting two rooms together. So you could have saved some space that way, but it just looks really nice and I like it. So we're going to go with this as a lot and I'll try and fit things that we need here because uh, I don't think we have all of our stuff that we need but I tried to do as much as possible so I did rearrange this bedroom quite a bit it's almost completely different than the original uh, this one is almost the same except for I did change a lot of the colors and I added the computer desk so I did have some things that I needed to change and I actually had to take out the other candles. There was another candle thing over here against this wall, but it would have made recording a little bit difficult. So that's what we're going with for now. And Pandora is actually old enough now that she can drink potions. So we do have the option to do the potion of youth, but I would prefer to try and complete all of the child aspirations and all of the milestones that are specific to children during the childhood phase. And then we also have to get an A in school. And that is gonna to be tough to do in just 14 days because that's all you get as a child. So the hardest one to do is the whiz kid aspiration. We're going to start with that one because you need to be able to do homework three times and she has to go to school each time she does her homework in order to get another opportunity to do homework. So we're going to start off with that one. Oh look, and Carla is playing a game of chess. Why don't we just join the game of chess because that'll be easy. Okay, and that glitched out for some reason, but it counted as a game, so hey, if it works, it works. Whatever the game allows you to do is what you can do. And now that we've done that, next we need to read with an adult for two hours, and for that you just put a children's book in your inventory and hit read to child. It's the best way to do that. Now you will have to repeat this interaction probably about three or four times before you get the two hours, but that's just the way it goes. Don't queue up multiple ones because it doesn't seem to work. Okay, it did not tell me that it was done, but we read with Carla for two hours. So now we need level five mental skill and finish homework two times while focused. Now we need to get focused, unfortunately. I'm not sure if we can do that very well because I don't think that children can drink tea, but they can focus on the chess table. Oh, we can also get a potion with Carla. So one of the benefits of having Carla, and I'm going to allow this, is occasionally we can use her satisfaction points. And I did a lot of work with Carla. So this time around, I'm going to make things easier on myself by using some of her satisfaction points. Okay, and then that will get us focused. Now we actually need to finish this homework before we lose the focus buff. So I'm going to have Carla help with the homework, which will make it easier to do that. And we actually can't count extra credit, so I'm going to have to go to school and then work on this aspiration again. Oh, we can't even do extra credit anyway because she's a C student. All right, well, we can't work on the WizKid aspiration anymore. I think Social Butterfly is a good one to do. So what we might do is go meet Max again and make him our friend because this version of Pandora doesn't know Max. And hi, I'm a child sim knocking on your door late at night. Hello, Max. I need to reintroduce myself to you. Why are you uncomfortable? Oh, we made a friend immediately? It's not Max though. Oh well. Oh, 
Okay, well, technically, he's not our friend yet, but that's fine because we already made a friend. We need to meet five new Sims. So let's go ahead and meet the rest of the family. Hello, Maximus. I know you're a toddler, but you'll be a child soon enough. And we'll just wake up Ulyssa so that we can introduce ourselves to her. Okay, well, that's three Sims. And now we head over to our dear leader's house and say, hello, Mr. Pickens. I'm your neighbor. And then we'll say hello to Wiz. And that's that milestone. Okay, now we need to make a BFF. Mm, I think maybe Carla should be our BFF just because that's easier. Yeah, Carla is already almost max friends with us. So let's see if we can already become... Yes, we can already become best friends. So Pandora is becoming best friends with her mother, Carla. And that completes that step of the aspiration. Okay, Carla, you can go home and we'll try to make Jim Pickens one of our other friends because we need to make a friend with two adults. Let's try giving him a gift of simoleons. I wonder if this will actually make their household funds go up because they're kind of low on funds. Ah, that didn't really do very much for our friendship, but that's okay. And we mastered the social skill. Oh, we actually already became friends with him. Okay. Sorry to become friends and run, Jim Pickens, but we need to go on to our next step in this aspiration, which is becoming friends with Max. Before we go, though, we should probably meet Jamie. And it's actually quite funny that children and toddlers can just introduce themselves to infants, whereas teenagers and adults have to ask to be introduced by an adult that knows the infant. Oh, I wonder if we join cooking, if that will give us some friendship. Oh, of course, she put that thing right there, and now I can't join cooking. Great. Um, why is it still working? Well, that's a bug. Max actually stopped cooking because the counter was taken and he couldn't put the plate down. Oh, well, we're still gaining friendship, I think. Yep, we did. We became friends with him. Well, that was easy. Okay, Maximus is a toddler. So maybe we should make a club of kids in order to meet some kids. And we'll just pick some random kids. Now it is almost time for school. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do this very much. But let me also join the scouts. I can work on some badges while I'm doing this because a lot of the activities actually get you scout badges. Okay, we managed to make one friend, Ariella, and now we need to go to school. Okay, now that Pandora is home, we'll start working on our mental aspiration again. So we'll have another focus potion and then do our homework again. Well, that was quick. I think if you do extra credit work that you actually get mental skill. Yes, you do. Okay, so we can use that to achieve level five mental skill. And we immediately did. So we need to have a grade of A at school craft three emotion potions, and then achieve level 10 mental skill. While we were doing our homework, we earned a scout badge. <laughs> and that gets us promoted to Griffin Scout. 
All right, now we make our three emotion potions, and this will probably get us to level 10 mental skill, which means we just need to get a grade of A at school. All right, we did not, oh no, actually we did get level 10 mental skill. So now we just need a grade of A, and we need to focus on a different aspiration. Oh yes, and I did manage to fit a tree house on this lot. I had to move everything over here in this corner to the center. So now we have a central area with the fountain and a chess table, an activity table, and a couch. And then the tree house will be over here because I forgot you have to sleep in a tree house. And I don't think you can do that off of your lot very well. So I'm going to just do it here. Okay, while we're very playful, let's go play on the jungle gym. Okay, and of course she goes back and forth between playful and confident. All right, well, let's stop that. This is why I thought we might need a bathtub. So I'm going to have her take a bubble bath and then she should be playful again and we can play on the pirate ship. Okay, that completes that milestone. So now we need to practice typing for four hours, but I think we'll switch over to a more creative aspiration. We actually need to make a friendship bracelet for one of our aspirational goals. And the other person that we exchange it with needs to have a friendship bracelet. So that means either Carla or Annalise will have to build one. I think maybe we'll have Carla do it. Okay, now we need to draw two pictures while inspired. Uh, how do we get inspired when we're so playful? I don't think we can do that right now. Let's try something else. We'll go ahead and do the typing for four hours. Okay, we did that milestone. Now we need to make it across the monkey bars three times. Okay, now go play the typing game. Okay, we did it. We earned the high score on the typing game and we got level 10 motor skill. So we are a rambunctious scamp. And we also earned a badge, I believe. Oh, no, we just need to check the board. Okay, Pandora's off to school. And I really do like having them take their shoes off in the house. But for this house, unfortunately, I'm going to have to turn it off because it seems like they take their shoes off for each room, but they put their shoes on to walk across the bridges, which doesn't make any sense. So we're going to have to say allow shoes indoors, even though that's not ideal. And Pandora has completed the Wizkid aspiration. So since she has an A in school, we don't need to go anymore. Oh, they can climb up the slide? That is weird. I've never seen a kid climb up the slide. At least, well, not in The Sims, of course, in real life. But that's hilarious. Okay, she's going to play Fairy Tale Princess or Fairy Tale Castle. I love these little animations they have that you can only see while you're selecting the kid. Okay, so she has completed that and now she needs to stargaze. Okay, while we're playful and we have level three in motor skill, let's see if we can playfully stomp on a splash pad before we lose our playfulness. Okay, that was easy. And now we need to become friends with three other children, which is the same thing that we need to do with the social butterfly aspiration. So I'm thinking that we work on the one that requires us to have a slumber party since it's 5 p.m. Now, can we plan a slumber party event? No, we can't plan social events. But Carla can. Now this is tricky because Carla doesn't know all the kids. So I'm not sure if this is going to work out well. We'll try it. Okay, we can select ourselves as a host. 
Oh, good. And then it puts the children in the guest list. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> Let's invite Maximus over. It'd be hilarious to have a toddler at a slumber party. I really don't want to invite the adults over, even though technically Jim Pickens and Max Power should come to events. I think we're going to save them for the adult events or the teenager events at least. So she has attended a slumber party. Let's exchange friendship bracelets with Carla. And this is actually a cute interaction. I'm not sure if we can do it inside though. It might be a little bit too cramped in here. Yeah, they're going to head outside. Oh, in the kitchen. Well, that works too. Here you go. All right, so Pandora got the pink one and Carla got the rainbow one. They didn't have a purple one, unfortunately. Okay, now we're going to need to tell stories from a sleeping bag. I think we should probably tell everyone to set up their sleeping bags. I'll do that right after we have people eating. Okay, dancing to music. We need actual music. Oh, we need more people to eat. Come on. Come on, everybody. Grab a piece of cake. All right, that worked. Oh, we need to tell stories on a sleeping bag anyway. Well, let's have everybody set up their sleeping bags. Oh, look, isn't that cute? There's Maximus. And he set up his sleeping bag. Okay, I'm getting credit for my aspiration, but I'm not getting credit for the party. For some reason, she's stopping the story early. And what is Jim Pickens doing here? All right, well, I don't know why he showed up, but anyway, he's here too for some reason. Okay, we're dancing to music. Why am I not getting credit for any of this? It has zero out of three. This happens sometimes where I don't get credit for parties and anything that goes on in the party doesn't give me anything. Well, let me reload. Okay, I don't think that's helping. Well, maybe we'll become friends with some of the other children. Oh, we got credit for dancing to stereo music for one person. I see three people dancing. Maybe if we invite someone else to dance. All right, well, we did reach our social butterfly aspiration. Okay, we are friends with three other children, but we might not get credit for it because, oh, we did, okay, good. Now we just need to ride a bike for four hours. But before that, let me make sure I get gold on this slumber party. Okay, so maybe now I can try watching TV. Where in here am I going to put a TV? <laughs> this place is so crowded. Okay, I don't know if it counts if we watch a movie, but we'll try it. Oh, it counts. All right, well, let's just tell everyone to get some sleep. Because I don't, well, let me try the stories on the sleeping bag again. I don't know if that'll help or not. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. I think it's because she gives up too soon. Maybe because they were doing something else. I think we'll just try getting some sleep. And then hopefully we'll get gold anyway. Oh, this one seems to be running longer. Maybe she's actually making it this time. Okay, no, that didn't count. I'm not going to do it then. Just tell everyone to get some sleep. Oh, that was gold. Okay, we're actually going to end this event because that's what c completes the aspiration. Oh, and this is a bug I thought they fixed. Getting gold on an event used to make your charisma shoot up so many levels and i think for whatever reason the slumber party still does that she's level six charisma she went up like three levels by getting gold at a slumber party oh we need to stargaze 
And she is tired enough to sleep in a treehouse for six hours, but she doesn't have six hours to sleep because it's going to make her go to school tomorrow. Maybe we can take a vacation, which I don't think that'll work either. It makes you wake up around 6 a.m. even if you don't have school the next day because that's the normal time you would wake up. All right, well, we'll take a vacation and we'll try to sleep in the treehouse, but I don't think we're going to make it tonight. Oh, we actually did do it. Okay, so we're creative genius. It's not giving me my celebration music. I'm so disappointed about that. Okay, so now we need to ride a bike for four hours, which means we need a bike. Actually, since we're inspired, we'll go ahead and draw a picture. And we immediately became confident. This is so annoying. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get this silly inspirational requirement over with. We're going to get a potion. What? Why are we not inspired? I drank a potion. She didn't finish it. Okay, it counted anyway. I guess it only counts if we finish it while we're inspired. Okay, now we need to play with three toys. And here's a little hint. If you choose play with emotion, they actually get some emotional control and they actually finish earlier for some reason. If you just select regular play, it won't count as playing with a toy unless you let them finish the action. Which is a shame because I would prefer that play with emotion lasted a little bit longer. But maybe it doesn't last very long because she doesn't have a negative emotion. Okay, now we need to play instruments for five hours, draw all five pictures, and level 10 creativity skill. Oh, look, it's the Grim Reaper. Hey, honey, it's Dad. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your old dad you love him, can't you? Okay, Grim, you can come over. Okay, maybe I can introduce Carla to this Grim. Because it's funny, I don't think... Yeah, Annalise should know him but her father wasn't really set in the tree oh it still is set in the tree okay so Annalise does have the Grim Reaper still set as her father oh that's a problem because that means Pandora is kind of related to Grim okay so she hasn't even introduced herself to Grim let's have Carla introduced herself as the oh we only have the besties friendly really we don't have the romantic introduction why not oh there it's under romantic for some reason well that actually makes sense i don't know why i thought it would be under friendly but anyway <laughs> okay she's not getting credit for becoming confident i think because maybe she's confident already so maybe we could become playful. Let's go take a bubble bath and see if we can become playful. And meanwhile, we'll try to get to know Grem. Okay, now we'll try to calm down and maybe that will make us confident. Okay, I became confident. All right, so now we need to learn how to ride a bike. And for the other one, we need to ride a bike for four hours. Okay, Carla and the Grim Reaper are going to be wholesome. That sounds like a good choice, I guess. And of course, he's got to go. Oh, we rode a bike for four hours. Now we just need to learn how to ride the bike. This might take a while. It's actually a milestone as well. But it seems like it takes forever for them to learn how to ride the bike. <laughs> Okay, maybe if Carla helps, we can actually learn how to ride the bike faster. Okay, we learned how to ride the bike. Now we need to go 12 hours without a negative moodlet. And negative need moodlet. And that means, yeah, we probably need to reset that right now. 
It is currently Wednesday at 11 p.m. That's cute. They had to celebrate. I was wondering why she was walking all the way back here. Come on, drink your need moodlet solver. No, don't chat. Don't chat. Just drink it. You're taking long enough. Really? You got to go through every single need and then chat again. No, drink it. Okay, now you're fine. Okay, I don't know if we're allowed to switch aspirations while we're working on that 12 hours without a negative need moodlet, but I need to finish the artistic prodigy aspiration. And then that should be it. Okay, that's it for the instrument. And we don't want it to rain because everything is outside. So I kept Carla as a mermaid. We'll do it for now because it's just so much nicer when I don't have to deal with the rain. And now we've completed the artistic prodigy aspiration. So that completes all of the aspirations except for one. Okay, now we need to go 12 hours without a negative need moodlet. Now, other negative moodlets don't count. So we'll just try to keep our needs topped off. And we've been promoted to Unicorn Scout. Okay, for the Young Scientist badge, you can actually create potions on the experiment table. It doesn't say that you can do that. It says use the microscope or the telescope, but that works too. Okay, one of the other things we need to do is to win a game of marbles, which I didn't get to do with Carla. So we're going to start a group gathering of all of the little kids and see if we can win this game of marbles. Oh, okay, so she did win. All right, now let's play a game of hopscotch. Now, I didn't do this one with Carla either, but I didn't know it existed because I played hopscotch with Carla as a teen and it didn't give me any sort of milestone for winning it. So I'm not sure if this works for children only or if maybe it's bugged for the fact that it doesn't give it to teenagers. But someone in my comment section said that it does give it to children. So we'll try and see if we can win a game of hopscotch. Oh, he actually stumbled. Does that mean he loses? <laughs> And he's going to go dance. Well, that's not fair. Come back here. I was playing hopscotch with you. Hopped to the top from hopscotch. Hop, hop, hop to the top. Hopscotch wipes away Pandora's inhibitions. Okay, I'm pretty sure she won. Oh, first hopscotch win. It is a milestone. All right, well, there's two milestones that are missing from James Turner's website. So make sure you get those when you're doing your child sims aspirations and milestones. Okay, the only two things we need to do now, or three things, we need to finish this mind and body aspiration. And then we also need to lose our first tooth, which is just kind of random. I have to wait for that to happen. And then also the childhood phase on James Turner's website, the childhood phase is under, under child and not under teen, but I'm pretty sure you can go through a phase when you're a teenager. I just don't know if it gets you the milestone or not. So I'm guessing we should probably try to get the milestone with the child instead of the teenager because a lot of things can be done by a teenager that still don't get you a milestone so i want to be careful about that all right so we have a few more badges we can work on while we're waiting for the other stuff to happen and we're promoted to pegasus scout we just have to do three more badges 
Okay, I'm not sure if any negative moodlet counts, so I'm going to try and swipe something so she doesn't get the need to swipe negative moodlet. Because it's been forever since I've had no negative moodlets. And she's still not getting this aspirational step done. Okay, and she's now a Llama Corn Scout, which means she's top of the scouting career. And we can quit that job. And I guess we'll be a drama kid. We have nothing else to do, really. Oh, crap. She got a poorly decorated moodlet. I don't know why, but some of the walls were not painted. And I thought I found them all. I'm not sure if that poorly decorated moodlet is counting and resetting her negative needs moodlets. I don't know. I don't see anything else that needs to be painted. Okay, I currently have conflict resolution and responsibility in range. And then we just have to get up manners, emotional control, and empathy. But that can be done in the teen years. I'm just trying to get the last couple of milestones and this very last aspiration, which is being a pain. And then we can go and be... Hey, stop working carefully. I want you to work sloppily. Oh, it's... Oh, no. It's a thunderstorm. What? That better not count as a negative moodlet. It's supposed to be a negative needs moodlet, but it seems like it doesn't matter if it's a needs moodlet or not. Something is resetting this because it's been way more than 12 hours. And she hasn't gotten credit for this. The needs have been in the green the entire time. Maybe it's just because I'm not actually caring for my needs. Maybe it's because I am drinking moodlet solvers. <laughs> if that's the case, I might just have to take care of her needs for 12 hours. Let's try that next. Okay, let's see. What is the Finchwick Fair today? We have the pie competition and the garden competition. I actually have a wool spain. So we'll submit that and see how we do. I think in order to reset this, what I need to do is just not take care of my needs for a little while and get a negative needs moodlet so that I can actually try to go 12 hours after that without a negative need moodlet. I think what happens is when you get these sorts of things, if you don't keep the aspiration active and you satisfy the requirement, it glitches it. Okay, we got a participation garden ribbon, which was pretty easy to get. Well, for now, we're really just waiting. So I'm going to draw some pictures and get some of these collectibles for the museum. Okay, she has a negative need moodlet. And that should reset the timer on this. So if I get rid of the negative need moodlet and then take care of all of her needs, it should hopefully give me the completion on it. And I can't change this aspiration to another aspiration, but it doesn't matter because I have all the other ones completed. Uh, who started a fire? Really, Annalise? Put it out. Why can't you put it out? Why can't you put it out? Okay, Annalise is not good at casting spells. Okay, now manners, responsibility, and conflict resolution are all in range. We just need to fix emotional control and empathy. Okay, another thing I never did with Carla is the Void Critter Hunt that can only be done in Mount Kumarabi during the Festival of Youth. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it with Pandora because I've tried it before with other Sims and you never find enough Void Critters in order to claim a prize. Okay, we immediately find one and I'm not sure 
how close they are together and I'm not sure if there's a cooldown on this but it just seems like I can never find more than two or three and then I don't find any more after that. Oh, he found one right there. If I check in the same spot, will I find one? I found one over there. Okay, I did find one in the same spot. But it was a different void critter. So, I wonder if it's just random. Oh, aspiration completed. She did it. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried that that was never going to complete. All right, it is still not giving me any void critters. And I'm also gaining a lot of confidence, but I'm still neutral confidence. That kind of worries me too, because I'm not sure if she's going to be able to get the high confidence reward. I only have to find four more, and I bet I'm not going to find any more now that it's like 2.30. And the festival is going to be over soon. Even if I find four in a row, it's going to be really hard to claim the prize. Okay, I did find one right there. Don't chat. I just want to look for void critters. Please don't bother me. Oh, I've got eight. I think that's as high as I've ever gotten. There's nine. I just need one more. Am I going to make it before the festival ends and Yamachan goes away? No, I'm not talking. No, she didn't find one. I just got to find one more. Come on. At least now I don't have to worry about my needs going yellow. Oh, I did it. I found 10. Claim prize. I know you just get a stupid card, but I don't care. Claim prize. I just wanted to do it once. Oh, I get a Void Critter card, which I've got like tons of them, but hey, it's something. Oh no, it's a um, ultra rare semi capsule. Okay, I got a golden medieval grim semi. Okay, I've never seen that one before. I wonder if you can get it some other way or if that's the only way you can get it. I think I want to buy a hat. Where is the hat? Now we just have to wait for the stubborn childhood phase and the loose tooth and then get our confidence up. I don't know. This confidence is just not moving. I usually don't have any problems getting it from neutral to high. Oh, Pandora's going through a phase. She's having a bit of a mean streak and feels like being more nasty with other Sims. All right, well, there's our childhood phase. Oh, Annalise aged up. I forgot it was her birthday. Sorry, Annalise. Oh. Now Annalise oh. is an adult. I think I'm just going to let Annalise age naturally. And when she passes on, I will probably go delete Clement Frost. And the reason for that is that Clement Frost was her partner to have Pandora. And I don't like having too many Sims in my game that are immortal. And he's immortal, basically. I suppose neighborhood stories could get him, but it seems like in my games, at least, I never see him killed by neighborhood stories. Oh, and it seems there is a bug. I checked the EA website and the child is stuck with neutral confidence, but the confidence level is rising in the background. It's just that the buff is not changing so when she ages up she should still have high self-esteem and we can save right before we age her up and that'll be no problem oh hi max how are you doing he's just casually strolling in for a visit why is my front door always over here i reset it several times to be this door and it never saves. I've changed the door thinking maybe the door was the problem, but no. I don't know what the issue is. 
So the only thing we're waiting on with Pandora is the loss of the first tooth. And unfortunately, that one is a child only milestone. And I seem to get lost tooth all the time on my other Let's Plays at random times and quite often with all of my child sims. And for some reason, I'm not getting it with Pandora and I don't know why. Okay, whenever you get these pop-ups in Drama Club, you need to select whatever the teacher does not want because otherwise it seems like you don't get a promotion if you don't take the chance. So the teacher wants Pandora to write a happy monologue, but Pandora feels a song would end the show better. So you do the song. Okay, now we're level two in Drama Club, which is a line learner. And I think you can get one more level, and after that, you have to be a teenager. Okay, we'll have a quick dinner party because it's one of the things that Annalise wants to do in order to advance into her soul's journey. And she needs to give the two traits that she has to Pandora, so we need to do this. Okay, and we did the Master Chef for Carla. Yeah, I might do a couple of things with Carla now just because it's fun to try and sort of finish what we started with her. I don't know if we'll actually complete everything with her, but I might do something now and then, especially something that's helpful because this one allows her to cook food that doesn't spoil. Okay, we finally finished the Void Critter Collection. I had to open like a hundred packs, probably more than that. And Pandora is promoted to Practical Performer. Now, one thing I have learned about the Loose Tooth is that it's as I suspected, you can only get a Loose Tooth when you go to sleep. So she hasn't been sleeping, that's a problem. We'll fix that. What? Okay, I got a pop-up for the drama club and it seems that the teacher has taken away my A in school. Great, now I have to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> we should do our homework, I guess. Oh look, it's the monster under the bed. He finally showed up. So I haven't really been waiting for him, but I might as well try and talk to him. No, unsuccessful. Although I do have the option to talk to the monster for some reason. Oh, and now she made friends with it. So for some reason, it let me try more than once. Well, is your sim having trouble getting a loose tooth? As a last resort, you can save the game and then go sledding. If you wipe out, you may lose a tooth. And of course, if you don't wipe out, then you might have to try it again. Oh, Pandora lost her tooth. Okay, so finally she lost it in an accident because it got knocked out. Does that count? Yes, it does. It counts as losing a tooth. Well, that's all I need. Okay, I'm going to place the tooth under her pillow and sleep because I want to get the Tooth Fairy certificate. It says, it's time to head to bed. If you're lucky, when you wake up, you'll have a nice surprise from the Tooth Fairy waiting for you in your inventory. Does that mean you don't always get it? Okay, she must have gotten something. I saw a little exclamation thing above her head or whatever it was. Okay, she got a Tooth Fairy sticker. And a Tooth Fairy certificate. Alright, sure. You can just buy these though. Okay, well, I don't care about the sticker if I can just buy it. Well, happy birthday, Pandora. Why are you chatting with Carla? Ooh. Blow out the candles. 
Happy birthday, Pandora. Okay, she earned high self-esteem, and I did save the game just in case she didn't. So that seems to be a bug, but it's not that bad because you still get the trait when you age up. It doesn't matter if you have neutral self-esteem. So what I was thinking about doing is actually making her chased by death if I can. Because this is actually quite funny. Death follows you at every turn. While risky and dangerous behaviors may have deadly consequences, frequent near-death experiences give these Sims a desire to live each day to the fullest and progress along their soul's journey faster. Keenly aware of their own mortality, these Sims feel best when they are achieving something meaningful with their limited time left. I just think it might add a little bit of an extra challenge. And I actually don't want any traits that cause my skill to go up faster for reasons that will become apparent later on. Okay, so we want to choose an aspiration that we don't have the trait for yet. I think maybe we'll take the friend of the animals just so we can get the animal affection one because we already have like four or five other traits that we can get because we can pass them down from Carla or Annalise oh. and so yeah that's Pandora uh, we might have to do a makeover <laughs> now I think we did get the Pandora from the Grim that had the pinched face so yeah her features are a little bit out there I'm not sure what we should do about that we can change them I guess if we'd like to make her look like a more normal sim let me know in the comments should we try and make her look like a beautiful sim or should we just accept her the way she is I think either way, I would be okay with it. So let me know what you guys think. I will, however, change her hair and her clothes. Okay, so I know I went a little bit overboard on the goth look, but we're just going to have this for her teenage years, I think. So she's going to go through a little bit of a rebellious phase and we'll make her over when she becomes an adult. So here's her everyday, her formal, her athletic, her sleep, her party look, her swimwear, hot weather, mm. and cold weather look. So back on James Turner's website, we have done the child stage and we completed all of the aspirations for the child. And we did do some of the levels for some of the other adult skills, but we'll fill those in later. But the biggest thing is the motor, social, mental, and creativity skills because those are specific to children. And then Drama Club, I believe we got to level two, but we did complete the Scout career and we did the Milestones childhood phase, reached top of after school activity, first day of school, first fire, learned to ride a bike, lost first tooth, and we had already made a best friend. So all of these can be done at different stages. The rest of them that are in this list are not necessary to complete as a child. So we're going to be moving on. And the two that are not on this list are one, a game at marbles and one, a game of hot scotch. Now, one more thing I will be doing is populating this retail store. I just made a huge empty box with four stories above ground and four below ground. And we're going to basically put all of our keepsakes in here because it gets to be a problem managing this inventory. 
So that's what I'll be doing for the end of the episode. And this is Charity. Thanks for watching.